So at the end of last year, Carrie and I packed up our entire lives in Australia to move to the other side of the world. We spent months selling most of the contents of our house and we packed up the rest to put into storage. We said goodbye to our home in Australia and to Mia as well, who was staying with my parents for the next two years. That was a really hard goodbye. Even with the daily updates from mum and dad, we still miss her little face every single day. We took the last few weeks to spend as much time with friends and family as we could. And what a blessing it is to have loved ones in our lives who make it so hard to say goodbye. Yeah, I'll just pretend. <laughs> My whole life right here. <laughs> And then with three suitcases and two carry-ons between us, we were off on the adventure of our lives to live in London for the next two years. And <laughs> <laughs> there's another one I downstairs. I thought we were already taking off all the hallway space. This exactly is what would happen to us. We just arrived from 24 hours of traveling and our Airbnb host locked the keys in the room. But now we just have to wait here with all our stuff in the hallway, our whole lives, while they go and get a locksmith or something, however long that's gonna take. So the London move is off to a great start. Who's she even calling to her? She doesn't have a phone either. <laughs> she locked her phone in there too. So she's got no phone, no keys for the Airbnb, she couldn't even give us a time of how long it's going to take to get into the Airbnb, so... One hour later. We made it. We're in. <laughs> Dude, I was trying very hard to not lose my shit. I know, that was really stressful. She brought a bunch of people, her daughter, there was like four people here trying to get us in the apartment. Trying to use like cards to break in. There was like some chisel and hammer going on. Hey, what's up, my friend? Dude, I think we're like... Work is across the street or something. It is 7.45. We're going out for the first time. We've been awake since 4.30 in the morning. <laughs> I know we've only been here a day, but it still doesn't feel like we've moved. It just feels like we're on a holiday. And we were talking about like when it's going to feel like we moved. Carrie thinks it's when we get a TV. <laughs> I think it's going to be when we get a mattress. On our first day, we explored the area near our Airbnb and they had this cute little market on. And then we went for a really delicious little welcome dinner with some friends that also just moved here. It's a Monday, so post office finally open. We can go pick up our biometric residence permit. We're off to become OK residents. <laughs> oh, Cleo, the condensation. We're residents, baby. rentals today on the foggiest day I've ever seen in my whole life. It looks like <laughs> the world is ending. <laughs> we went and got ramen for dinner last night at just like a local ramen place and it was the grossest ramen I've ever had. It just tasted like noodles and milk. It was it not good. It had a single morsel of flavour in it. <laughs> we decided to get to all of our rental viewings pretty early so we could explore, check out local cafes and pubs near the apartments and just get a bit of a feel for the area because we obviously don't know London. We're from the other side of the world and we just want to make sure we like the spot we're going to be living in for the next year because all of the lease agreements over here are 12 months minimum. This apartment was in Shoreditch, which we did like Shoreditch, but I guess not this specific little nook of Shoreditch. This apartment, the living room window looked out into a school, which we didn't love. And the interior was honestly kind of claustrophobic. Like if you could tell how tiny that hallway was and just all one color, it just wasn't for us. It honestly felt like white room torture, but beige. The next apartment was in Islington and we really loved Islington and the area this apartment was in. There was just a lot going on in the area in the best way. Nice cafe 
trays and stores and anything you needed, but it was a 15 minute walk to the tube, which wasn't ideal. The apartment itself, I mean, you probably can't tell because it's under construction, but they showed us photos of a finished apartment. It was so beautiful. I will dream about the green tile bathroom, but the whole building was scaffolded. They still had a few more apartments in the building to renovate, including one right next door to us, which they hadn't even started yet. And heavy construction noise was a pretty big deal breaker for us. It's the building we just saw. I loved it, but <laughs> all the construction. <laughs> I love the apartment, but I'm just concerned about the noise. And we already rented out a place <laughs> once upon a time and we had to move out because it was way too loud. Apartment number three was in Shoreditch again in an area called De Beauvoir. And this apartment had really tall ceilings, which made the space feel really open. The kitchen was a really good size with a dishwasher, which is important because washing dishes sucks. The bathrooms, you know, they were bathrooms, they were good. Bedrooms were both a good size, unlike a lot of other places we saw, but it did have a lot of stairs, like four flights. And we do want to do some traveling. So lugging our suitcases up and down was just not ideal, which is a bit of a shame because we really liked the apartment itself and the area it had a cute pub, deli, a bunch of eateries and cafes. It was a really nice area and the sandwich from this deli, the club sandwich, was to die for. We are so lost trying to find this place. Walking around for like 15 minutes just trying to find the building. <laughs> Gotta go through a museum. All the buildings in the area look exactly the same as well. So this was one of the most expensive apartments we saw. It was in the Barbican Estate and given the price, we had high expectations, but it was definitely our least favorite apartment we saw. The bedrooms were tiny. The dimensions don't sound super tiny, but they measure from the absolute largest part of the room. So in reality, they're so small and the whole area was just kind of depressing and confusing, which is just personal opinion, but this apartment just wasn't for us. This elevator is so small. Mate, you could fit like fuck all furniture in here, sorry. Oh yeah, imagine getting a couch in here. Like it's off. It's the worst. One of the bedrooms. I think you could probably only put like a clock in there. I don't think you could even fit a desk in there. It was, yeah, seriously. Honestly, rental hunting in London is not for the faint of heart. Be prepared to see a lot of places before you find the one and be prepared for disappointment. This is one of those apartments that was so disappointing. Just because before we saw it, we really had our hearts set. We were convinced we were gonna put an offer down, which is why we didn't take a lot of video of this one. It had a garden, it had a garden room as well with an ensuite, which would have been perfect for when friends and family came to visit and also was an office space for us. The apartment also had aircon, which is so rare in London, and it was just so beautifully finished. Look at that green kitchen. But it's so important to see apartments in person because when we got there, the train line was right behind and it was so loud that it basically shook the apartment. So with heavy hearts, we had to let it go. <laughs> That would be my death row meal. It was so good. It was actually really good, wasn't it? He was complaining when I said I wanted to go to Bang Bang Noodles because it's my favorite food in the world. And now... Can I just say the reason I don't like it is because every time I go there, I drop a fat noodle. It <laughs> splashes like that red ass sauce on my That's because you wear white to eat like saucy ass noodles. Look at that sweet little face. FaceTimes and updates of Mia both melt my heart and make me so sad. And my little honey bear, he always tries to listen to phone on FaceTime. It's so cute. This is the second last apartment we saw and it was in Shoreditch as well, but I guess not in the main area. I don't know. We didn't love the area this one was in. The apartment itself though was gorgeous. It had been newly renovated and the finishings were beautiful. It had such nice light in through the windows as well. It was up one flight of stairs, which we didn't mind. Ground floor or first floor is what we were looking for. But we ended up passing on this one just because of the area and because we saw an apartment the very next day that we were in love with and actually ended up getting approved for. <laughs> To celebrate getting approved for our new apartment, we're having a special little dinner tonight. We're making vodka pasta with sausage and wine instead of vodka. It's gonna be yummy. So we get a lot of questions about why we would wanna move here. A lot of people from London are very confused as to why we would wanna live in London. And I guess it's the case of like, the grass is always greener on the other side. For us, it's definitely experience. It's a major life change to be able to live on the other side of the world together. And we're so excited to be able to you know, travel around Europe over the next couple of years, which is something you can't really do from Australia. I mean, you can, but to get here to London, it took us 24 hours and that was like best case scenario. We only had an hour long stopover. So we got here as quick as we could get here. And that's the same for anywhere else in Europe. Like from Australia, that's just the minimum amount of time it takes. And it's really expensive as well 
because it's so far away. Personally, like, I love London. I don't get it. You know, I don't get the hate. I, for one, am also really excited about the cold weather. We do not get weather this cold in Brisbane, and I love cold. Fun little fact, this pasta dish is actually the meal Kerry cooked for us the night we got engaged because it's like my favorite meal of all time. He walked to the most beautiful Airbnb up in the Gold Coast hinterlands. It had seriously the most breathtaking views. The afternoon of the day that we arrived, we were sitting on the balcony just like having some wine and some cheese and meats. And that's when he proposed and it was just so perfect. I had no idea that he was gonna do it either because like he's booked little staycations for us before. And also like we were moving. I I thought we just wanted to go on a little trip away before, like a little staycation before we moved away. But I definitely knew about five seconds before it happened because he came over and he was like giving me a little cuddle, telling me how much he loved me and I could feel his heart beating out of his chest. I was like, oh my God, what is happening? And that's when he got down on one knee and asked me to marry him. <laughs> he also brought out the most beautiful bouquet of flowers I've ever seen, which he managed to bring there without me noticing. Like, I did not see them. I did not smell them. I don't know if I'm just, like, dumb or really oblivious. But at the time, up in the hinterlands, it was still nice and cool. So that night after, you know, we got engaged, we were just sitting by the fireplace and he made us this pasta and it was just, honestly, it was a dream. Finding an apartment here is exhausting, might I add. Everything goes so quickly. Our apartment... We got it at 10 a.m. the morning after it got listed. You have to be prepared to go through a lot of dodgy ones before you find the one. Like, it takes a while. But because we've been spending so much time trying to find an apartment, we haven't really done anything touristy yet. We haven't really explored London. So we're excited to be able to, you know, relax a little bit, go and see a bit more of the place we're living in now, which is so surreal to say. So if you got any recommendations on where we should go, what we should see, what we should do, what we should eat, Please let me know. I did go on a little walk today with some friends around Holland Park and Hyde Park and they had this little market on and I got this fresh pasta. Very excited about it. Our lease to our new apartment doesn't start until early March and it's currently February. So at the moment... But at the moment, we are in an apartment hotel. We had to come here from our last Airbnb because the Airbnb was out. We decided not to extend because, I mean, it was a nice Airbnb, but it was an experience, you know? Like, I was showering one time. It's cold here. I was having a hot shower, and I had the door closed. When I finished my shower, I opened the door. All of the steam came out and set all of the smoke alarms in the whole Airbnb off. So I'm like running around in my towel, like trying to use a tea towel against all of the smoke alarms to make it stop. It's like shaking the floor. <laughs> <laughs> shaking. And then they also had photos of like naked girls on the wall of the apartment and they're like the bits and pieces were out in the photos. And they were doing some poses too. Like they were doing a pretzel moment. There was like a whole backwards bridge moment. Oh, excuse me, I'm gonna slip them off again. ever cook the right amount of pasta it's always not enough or enough to feed a family of 20 there is no in between <laughs> the relief when you're done cooking and you can just the serenity I'm really gripping that cheese for dear life <laughs> give me a little taste of that give me a little bowl, just a little bit How good does that look? Mm, you wanna try? Delish? Yeah. Ain't she beautiful? Delicious. Anyway, I'm gonna end the vlog here because I always forget to do outros. So this is it. This is the outro. This is the end of the vlog. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. And let me know if you want to see another vlog of like exploring London, moving into our new apartment, decorating, all that good stuff. And hopefully I'll see you then. Bye, guys. Bye. 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 <laughs>